DJ Ismailova. I'm an investigative journalist from Azerbaijan. Hello, I'm from Moldova. Vodovky. I'm from Budapest, Hungary. Stavim Lichinovic, reporter from Serbia. Well, in Azerbaijan we have um, the, the huge problem with monopolization of the business. And uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, the people in the government uh, blame me in, uh, in chasing the president's family. That's not true. I'm not chasing the president's family. It's just wherever you dig for information, their family members pop out from the businesses. They own the companies winning all the vast majority of the uh, of the contracts, uh, public contracts, and they hide their names behind the offshore uh, companies, uh, shell companies in uh, Panama, in uh, Virgin Islands, in different uh, in different offshore zones. Try to look uh, after uh, what the politicians are doing in Moldova and uh, what is their connection between public money and uh, maybe their private business or their private affairs. Spending of the EU funds or the state spending, we concentrate our work on on the spending of public uh, money and we investigated the uh, uh, state star series for football because uh, of soccer because it, it's the favorite sport of our uh, prime minister so a lot of state money pours into uh, football recently for more than three years i'm uh, I investigated the uh, so-called balkan cocaine route and this Balkan narco cartel that was actually transferring a lot of, a lot of, a lot of cocaine from South America to Europe, and they were selling, and most of the money they were actually gathering uh, from selling cocaine, and it's uh, actually millions, actually billions of euros, they were investing back in, in into Balkan. So basically, most of my research in the last few years were actually following money routes and seeing where this uh, cocaine money wheel was actually ending and finding links between organized crime and rich businessmen in politics. Well, all these stories, they have lots of details. Lots of details we want to show to uh, readers so they would see the proofs of what we are saying in the story. But it's when you put all this data to the story, it becomes very complicated. It becomes very complicated even for me, the author. I'm not speaking even about readers, uh, average readers in Azerbaijan and abroad. So we have to find a way to tell the story easier, to tell the story in pictures, to tell the story in graphics, to visualize it somehow so people would understand the uh, concept of it, even without reading the description of the chain of uh, connections in, in words. Actually, it's very difficult to describe the chain of connections and work, words because uh, sometimes they use 30 or 40 companies to hide one single name behind. Doing investigative journalism is hard itself. Collecting a lot of data is complicated and making this data clear it's uh, three times complicated. And uh, sometimes it discourages reporters, they are in trouble to do it well and to explain it well. Sometimes it discourages the readers or the audience itself because it's complicated for them to understand. And we know that visualization is the key to make uh, investigative journalism much easier to understand uh, because the topics themselves are highly important but the way we describe it it's uh, sometimes uh, hard to, to follow or to understand. These are complicated stories with a lot of numbers and it is uh, not easy to understand for the average reader therefore uh, we need the visualization because it can uh, make the numbers and uh, the persons uh, more uh, 
appealing to the public. So every single story, even this easiest stories, you need to mention more than like 20 companies. It's impossible less than that because they were making really huge chains of companies in order to launder money. So it's very hard to expose in the story all these chains of companies because readers will be just drowned in all these names. It will be really difficult for them to, to read it. So that's why it's very, very actually useful to use visualization. Well, it's not that we want to show people how much we work to uh, to discover these names behind all those matryoshkas, but also to let them understand how much effort is organized crime is putting uh, into this. Because organized crime is also put, spending efforts, and they their work should be appreciated as well. <laughs>